In short, according to the Labour Act, an essential service is a service that would endanger the life, personal safety or health of the whole or any part of the population of Namibia if interrupted. For instance, certain areas of the health sector fall in this category for without them, people's lives would be at risk. The only effect is if there is industrial unrest in that industry. So let's say air traffic control, taking, taking an example, if that is to eventually declared essential, um, they may not strike. And the employer, uh, uh, civil aviation, may not lock them out. This move might seem as an attempt for employers to simply want to block workers from opting to go on strike. But what does this mean? Does it mean being declared an essential service completely takes away the workers' right to down tools, regardless of how disgruntled they might be? Only if it is a situation where it is threatening the safety or health of the nation or um, a portion of the nation, and only if they're wanting to strike. Apart from that, essential services it, situation, the industrial relations go on as normal. So I'm afraid that there's a lot of misunderstanding about this, and I hope that in this process I'm able to put some light out there to understand this, this is not t totally taking away the right to strike. Not only where it's very, very critical for the health and safety. People. The onus lies with the Minister of Labour to make the final decision whether an industry should be declared essential or not. For the News on One, I'm Francho Olivier.